What is the truth about Reddit? Once upon a time, two college friends, Alexis Ohanian and Steve Huffman, found themselves at a crossroads. They were about to graduate but had no clear career plans. Steve had an idea for a business, but unfortunately, it didn't work out. So, how did these two friends, after their first failure, end up creating one of the most popular websites ever? And what happened to Alexis, the co-founder who seems to have been forgotten? Well, Reddit's story is full of twists and turns, scandals, lies, money, and even tragedy, with its own users sometimes turning against it. But let's get into the real story. Alexis had a tough time growing up. He was bullied for his weight and his name, but he found comfort in the internet of the late 90s. He taught himself to code and built websites when he was still a teenager. In college, he wanted to study computer science, but meeting Steve changed everything. They bonded over video games and decided to start a business together. However, feeling like he wasn't as good as others in his program, Alexis switched his major to law, thinking it would be a safer choice. But as he got ready for law school, he realized it wasn't what he really wanted. So, during an important exam, he left and went to a Waffle House, thinking about a different future. He dreamed of being his own boss and making a difference with a product he cared about. But he didn't have a plan. That's when he turned to Steve for ideas. And Steve already had one. Mobile food ordering. They spent their last year in college working on this startup, but they faced problems with technology and getting restaurants interested. Despite being rejected by investors, they kept going. Attending a talk by entrepreneur Paul Graham led them to join Y Combinator, a startup accelerator. Their original idea was turned down, but they were given another chance if they could come up with something better. So, they came up with the idea of creating a platform that brought together internet content in one place, where users could vote on its quality. And that's how Reddit was born, the front page of the internet, where anyone could find the best content chosen by the people. They had lots of names in mind for their site, but they settled on Reddit so people could say, I read it on Reddit. Alexis and Steve graduated from college in 2005. With a name and idea, plus $12,000 in funding from Y Combinator, they moved to Massachusetts to work full-time on Reddit. They worked tirelessly, barely leaving the house and hardly sleeping. But they got an email from Paul urging them to launch a beta version, so they quickly put one up. Surprisingly, Paul linked to Reddit in one of his blog posts, bringing in their first 1,000 visitors. Reddit was officially launched, but they struggled to get users. Alexis tried everything, from posting flyers to asking friends to contribute content, but they still didn't have enough users or content. Desperate for traction, Alexis and Steve created hundreds of fake accounts, posting content themselves to make it look like the site was more popular. Eventually, real users started joining, and by the end of the summer, Reddit had over 12,000 daily users. At first, Reddit's homepage was chaotic, with random links everywhere. Alexis suggested using tags for organization, but Steve disagreed. Instead, they created separate mini-communities called subreddits, which became essential to the site. The first subreddit was Not Safe for Work, and they soon added more like science, programming, and politics, which became very popular. This allowed different communities to thrive on one platform. As Reddit grew, Alexis and Steve met Aaron Swartz, a talented programmer backed by Y Combinator. Aaron's struggling startup merged with Reddit, forming a new company, not a bug, Incorporated. But tensions arose between the founders over Aaron's role as a co-founder. Then, media giant Condé Nast offered to buy Reddit for millions of dollars. Despite hesitations, they agreed. This made Alexis, Steve, and Aaron millionaires overnight, though there were some regrets. Even though Reddit was owned by Condé Nast, the founders stayed on to run the site. 
But things took a dark turn. Aaron Swartz, one of the co-founders, saw Reddit as a tool to empower people against governments and corporations. He didn't like Reddit being owned by a big company like Condé Nast and clashed with the leadership. He was eventually fired in 2007. Reddit continued to evolve after Aaron left. In 2008, users were allowed to create their own subreddits, leading to a big variety of topics and communities on the platform. Despite growing, Reddit struggled to make money and faced backlash from users over ads. Personal tensions between Alexis and Steve grew, leading to both leaving Reddit in 2009. This was the first time neither of the original founders was involved in the company. In 2011, Reddit faced a big threat with the proposed Stop Online Piracy Act, which could have made platforms like Reddit responsible for user-generated content. Reddit shut down for 12 hours in protest, and the bill was eventually dropped. Aaron Swartz, after leaving Reddit, became an internet freedom activist, but he faced legal problems for downloading academic journals from MIT. This took a toll on his mental health, and sadly, Aaron took his own life in 2013. Reddit underwent leadership changes after Aaron's death. Yishan Wong became CEO, but Reddit still faced challenges with disturbing communities and abuse due to its anonymous nature. Reddit users have come together for good causes, like raising money for charities and organizing events like the Secret Santa Gift Exchange. But Reddit's profitability remains uncertain, with its community being both its strength and weakness. Steve Huffman, one of the original co-founders, returned as CEO in 2015 alongside Alexis Ohanian as executive chairman. Their return brought optimism for Reddit's future, but controversies continued, including Huffman's involvement in a scandal regarding editing user comments and later issues with API charges. Reddit's decision to start charging for access to its API in 2023 led to a significant backlash from users and moderators, resulting in a site-wide blackout and increased tension between Reddit's owners and its users. Despite its challenges, Reddit remains a powerful platform with a large user base and significant influence, as demonstrated by events like the Wall Street Bets subreddit's impact on GameStop stock price in 2021. Reddit users have shown their ability to come together for positive causes, such as raising money for charities and organizing large-scale events like the Secret Santa Gift Exchange. However, Reddit's profitability remains uncertain, with its community being both its greatest asset and liability. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Watch more videos by clicking on this video right over here.